welcome back guys to our HINS SSM tutorial series. My name is Romujit and continued from our last video on install and configure SSM or configuration manager secondary site. In this video guide, I will show you how to uninstall or decommission an SSM secondary site system from SSM hierarchy step by step. So before the start, I would like to talk about on different scenarios at when we need to perform a complete secondary site uninstall or decommission process. If we plan for any of this like broader infrastructure changes such as in, uh, network or physical locations or consolidate the roles to reduce cost and complexity, plan for reconfigure or redesign the site roles or discontinue use of the features that the role supports or else decommission the underlying server completely. One thing to note here, whenever we initiate a secondary site uninstallation or plan for decommission, we need to ensure that all the clients are already reconfigured to use another role or we configured the site assignment process to rely upon default client behaviors to fall back or discover another server. So once we have all the high level planning and understanding, we can proceed for uninstall the SSM secondary site or delete the site. I will explain both of these options in a couple of minutes. Alright, to uninstall the secondary site, let me open the SSM console first. Okay, select administration tab from the bottom left of the SSM console. Expand site configuration. Under site configuration, click on sites. Now, from the site list, select the secondary site that you want to uninstall or delete. In our case, we will uninstall the site rule from S01. Right click on it and click on the delete option. A delete secondary site wizard will pop up to continue the process. On the general tab, we can either choose to uninstall the secondary site or delete the secondary site from the SSM hierarchy. So what options should we choose? If you look at the descriptions of each option, you will clearly understand what these are for. <laughs> if we select uninstall option, it will uninstall the site role from the server completely and then it will delete all the data for the site and its resources from the SSM hierarchy. One thing to note here that while choosing to uninstall option, the secondary site server should be available on the network. Now, if the server is not ac accessible on the network or the site fails to install, in that case, we need to select the delete site option. So, when we select the delete option, it will only delete all the data for the site and its resources from the SSM hierarchy and leave the configuration manager installed on the secondary site server. In our case, we will go with the uninstall option. Click on next. Verify the summary tab and click next again. It will start the uninstall process of our S01 secondary site. To check the backend, go to your secondary server C drive and open configngr setup.log for more info. In the log, if we check, we will see there will be an entry of deinstall of site role using the command line. Let me see where it is. Alright, here you can see the deinstall command line switch has been triggered to uninstall the secondary site role from S01 site server. 
also it will uninstall the sql server express using the uninstall switch looks good we can verify the uninstallation status from the ssm console as well select the targeted site and click on show install status option from the ribbon here you can see all the steps that are happening in back end to uninstall the site role from the ssm site server let me monitor this and i will be back once it is completed All right our s01 secondary site uninstallation is completed successfully we can see it has sent the status message to our ssm hierarchy as well about the completion of the uninstallation process back to the ssm console let me refresh it first we should see the site has been removed from our ssm hierarchy okay also let's verify the other option like servers and site system roles looks good no more entries of our secondary site now we need to delete the boundary groups that we had created during the secondary site configuration in our last tutorial so at first we will delete the s01 site assignment boundary group then we will delete the dp assignment boundary group as well next the distribution point looks good no more entries in database replications so now it has been verified that our secondary site system role is completely removed and deleted from our site server as well as from our configuration manager hierarchy now all right that's it covered i think what i want to cover today we'll see you in next video please feel free to comment and share your questions if you like the video thank you